Alright, that was working. <coughs> what are we gonna do? Quarterback, running back, and do quarterback. Hang on, let me make sure this shit all Madden first. my boys. The boys. They got me going against my boys. So here the I'm surprised they ain't scoring. I might have to change my number because Russell Wilson was number three and ever since I had this number three, my offensive line ain't been doing shit for me. They've been letting me get tackled. And this is why I hate not having full control of my team. Because the CPU will do some stupid shit, bro. Like, let me control my team. I should have I should have ran forward. My offensive line don't like me. They don't. They don't like me. Dot. Oh, what? Wow. That was a dot. That was a dot. Damn. Now they about to score. Now they about to score. Now they back onto the field ready for their second drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet. Oh, yeah, got big feet. Bow. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god. I think I chose the wrong team to play for. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm thinking they just lost Russell Wilson. They need a quarterback like me. No, they don't. Because all I thought was. He dropped it again. Even the announcer said he dropped it. Oh my god. Of course the cow. Of course the cowboy went down to school. Thursday, September 8th. That's when it all gets going. The defending champs, LA Rams, hosting the team that many think could win the AFC, the Buffalo Bills. Charles and I will be there. And then we got some great matchups on that Sunday as well. I might, well, might as well go ahead and get this that out. Raiders and the Chargers. And on Sunday night, Tom Brady. Yeah, he's I just want to throw one touchdown to the season. The are heading to Dallas to take on the Cowboys. And I just sat. I got sacked by a man with no hands. I got sacked by a pair of believers. Shout out to all my pair of believers. Dot. Dot. He keep dropping it. Jesus. Coach, it's not me, it's them. I'm putting it on the money. Coach, it's not me, it's them. It's them, coach. It's them. Coach, watch this. Coach, watch this. It ain't me, it's them. Wow. Wow. I get hit as I throw. And 
fix it. Of course I get hit as I throw the ball. Oh my god. Make it stop. I might have to put this shit on all pro for now. Dude. All Madden guy. Uh-uh. But I ain't no big. Throwing after the interception. Dot. Open man. That's no oh, yeah. I'm about to say go out of bounds. Please go out of bounds. I'm going to score me a touchdown before the end of the uh, half. That's good. See, this is why I need to get the depth chart. Because number 67 is about to get crushed by Micah Parsons. Watch. Crush! Okay, that was one of the first times he actually held him. All right, cool, 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 cool. He ain't let, he ain't let me down this time. He ain't let me down this time. He let me down. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Oh my gosh. If this is going to be like this on all Madden, yeah, I, I can't do it. Because I need to have full control of my team. Like, I don't know why Madden switched that shit. I don't know why Madden switched that shit. Last year, you had full control of your team. Now, I just got to pray these dudes got some IQ. Uh, the CPU got IQ. Come on, Chris. Give me something, Chris. Come on, Chris. I'm going to shitter, man. Dot. Get it. I got to throw these short ass passes. Today is on my ass. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. They'll look to throw again. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Ah, 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 ah. Finally, the running back actually does what I would do. Open ass hold up the field. Just take this shit, bro. Just take this shit. I keep having to hit these damn out routes. I can't go down the field, but they on their ass. He got bumped. He got bumped. All these bumps. Nah, fuck you, Carson. I'm just going this. I need this for pride. Back to throw again. <laughs> that was a touchdown. I literally had a touchdown. Oh, 
Touchdown. Lord help me. Block with all your might. Lord, if that was a pick. Because how do you just jump in front of him when you back up like that? Come on. I just want a touchdown. And I'm not going to get it. And we about to lose. Mm-hmm. Predictable as shit. <sighs> DK, don't look at me like that. Dro out there dropping the ball and shit. All oh, y'all dropping the ball. I need my speed. Dance. I need my agility. Where it is. There we go. All I gotta do is complete the pass. Got. I swear these play action little plays be leading me into sacks. Nigga just went up and swatted the ball. That's crazy. No wonder our defense is so ass. I can't dot up any other people's defense. I'm dotting up my defense. Oh, I'm at it. That's how you know our defense ass. Set season goal. You know I'm going for 30. You know I'm going for 30. And look at that. Look who coming back home. Russell Wilson. Oh, I forgot this is the real life. This is the real life shit. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I gotta see that game. I gotta see that game in real life. That shit gonna be lit. I'm gonna simulate that one. I just realized the Seahawks don't have Bobby Wagner no more. Shit. My defense ass. At least we still got Jamal Adams. What? What was I about to say? Jamal Adams. What the, the fuck was I about to say? At least we got Jamal Adams. <laughs> Super Bowl 48 rematch. 
It's the Broncos and the Hawks on Monday Night Primetime. And of course they score first. All right. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. DK, this should be open season. Off play action. Matter of fact, square. I don't trust these guys at, at the moment. I don't trust them to go get that. This is, is hot. I need full control. That's Carson. So the completion good for just three. And now third down and six to go. So Charles, we talk about the new man under center, and he comes into this game with an eight and five record as a starter over his first four Thank years God. in the NFL. But the difference That's now slow is slow-ass throw. Throw out of the sack. Oh, and my goodness. Don't score it again. Don't score again. Oh, the defense is garbage. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14 nothing already as they come up first and 10. A pass there over the middle to start things out. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 14 nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Looking to throw on second down. Craig. Ah! It's going to be caught. Dwayne Eskridge. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Operating from the gun. Craig. Sideline throw. That's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. You talk more about this new quarterback, Charles. What, what are the challenges you see for him taking over as the week one starter? Pardon, you bring up the challenges? Let's go with what we know already. He's produced in limited opportunities, and we've also seen that he has a flair for the big moment. Two of his eight wins, they came in primetime games. On the flip side, getting to know the playbook, understanding his teammates, relating to them. Can he also make the most of his talents as the guy? Play fake here on first down. You got, I got, what, 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 what was that? There was two people blocking him. Why did he leave? Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down at 17. I didn't even know he was going to sit right there. I didn't even know he was going to sit. I'm thinking he about to go over and try and guard the damn running back. Oh. They about to score again, ain't they? I'm surprised they didn't score. To go for their next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick and shoot. There's no run game on the Hall of Fame. There's none. None. There's no such thing as a run game. It's pass galore. They've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the play did on the last one. The second down pass play. I hate this fucking game. The CD, you've got Manny Kahue calling the shots for this offense. His second year as an offensive coordinator in the league. How do you see his crew on this side of the ball performing this year? The partners, you and I both know, and everyone else around the league. Manny was a popular head coaching candidate for this year. But he told all the teams he was interested in remaining a coordinator for a bit so he could continue to grow in the job. As far as his offense this year, he's really optimistic about what they can do because he loves the talent on that side of the ball.
Go ahead, you hit the two minute warning. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report, but business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. Going for Shit, I didn't know he was going to go fucking back there with him. Oh, my God. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. I threw it uh, under fucking pressure. Oh my god! All my defense had to do was buy me time. I had a dot. Wow, this one it is getting out of hand. That pick six. I might switch this to all pro. I might switch this to all pro. Madden, Madden, all Madden. Uh uh. You need full control of your team to play all Madden, and I don't have full control of my team. Madden, you guys, you guys drop, drop the ball with that one. You guys drop the ball with that one. I need full control of my team. You only gonna give me control of my fucking player? Like, come on now. And the defense is unfucking stoppable. I can't run the ball. Carson ain't gonna go nowhere. It'll just be a waste of downs. Like, I throw one more pick. We switching this bitch to all pro. If I throw one more fucking pick, we switching this bitch to all pro. I don't care. I'm a bitch. Catch, Nigga got bumped Mitchell. again. Like what? I'm bumping. He's bumping air. He's literally bumping air. Operating from the gun. Craig. Dot. Gone. Thank you. Don't don't catch up to him. I didn't even call a timeout. I didn't call. I just slapped my controller on my lap. The defense actually did something. Throwing to start the drive, Craig. I can't waste it. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawks touchdown. A great effort there. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He's throwing touchdown. DK, my man. Wait, how? How is DK's X Factor not lit up right now? How? Kick the field goal, and we get the ball back in the third quarter. Please make this field goal. If they don't kick the field goal, I swear to Christ. This is why I need full control of my team. If they don't kick this field goal. Okay, all right. Why did I pick this? Never mind. Whatever. I'm not running the ball. There's no, this, is why I'm, this is why I'm not running the ball. He had a wide open hole. He had a wide open. Hold on, bro. <laughs> Look. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Green grass. Is you going to run into this? God damn it. Look at yo. Y'all dropped the ball with that one, dude. I need full control of my team. Y'all really dropped 
the ball. This man Carson is garbage. So that'll go as a four yard loss on the play. They'll make it third and thirteen. You might as well block. I ain't, I ain't do nothing. Block. I, I had no one open. I, I had no one open. Look, defense, please just stop them one, 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 one more time. One more time. Just stop them one more time. Thank you. Oh, thank you. We got Russell Wilson in check. Little block. They go play action here on first down. I'm glad I threw it. I didn't even fucking see him coming. This is why, like, I'm, I'm about to run the ball. This is why I'm not. This is why I don't run the ball. He ain't doing shit, bro. He five rushes, only seven yards, and it's the third quarter. Like. You gotta get him going. No, ain't no getting him going. He would have been gotten. He would have been gotten going by now. Oh my God! And the field position doesn't get much better than this. He'll have it first and goal at the eight-yard line. Things unfortunately continue to explode here. The interception he threw. I, I, I can't run the ball. There's no point. There's no point of running the ball. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Hey, you drop it. Down. Oh. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Third quarter. Why me? Monday night with a second and ten coming up. Throwing again. Craig. That's all you good for, Carson. That's all you, yo, dumbass, is good for. Oh my goodness! Help! Somebody, help! Operating from the gun, Craig dumps this one off to Chris Carson, and he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Show a first and 10 now. In no point of doing nothing else but passing the ball at this point. Passing the fence, I was about to say, he just bumped the shit out of him. Bumped the shit out of him. Passing the fence, defense, thank you. Well, there were about 70,000 that were quickly calling for the flag. It comes out there for pass interference. I was going to say, bump the shit out of them. Throw it away. Oh, my God. And give them more genuine reason to cheer down the road. Intentional grounding offense. Oh. Oh, because my offensive line yeah, just can't buy me three seconds. Buy me three seconds in the pocket. Box, right? get of each tackle, and then you I can't get three seconds! We'll try all Madden when I'm when I'm like a 99. Cause fuck no. And why I mean fuck no? I mean fuck no. We're not doing that. Mm -mm. We'll do we'll do all Madden another time. We will do all Madden another time, man. Doggy. It's the National Football League on EA. Second 
So here are the Seahawks now with a long field in front of them. Throwing to start the drive. Craig. We out of there. Run. Run. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. So first and 10 now from the 30. Operating from the gun. Craig. Ah! He hits his target. Lock it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So oh, I got lucky. See the difference. My offensive line are fine. It's finally an offensive line. I'm able to throw the ball with a little bit of difficulty, but still. Automatic and wait. Play action. Craig. This is the tight end fan. And he'll be marked down at about the 26 yard line. Balled it to 26. Second and seven. Why did he be tackled at the 23 after a what? gain of three? Why did he nickel set defensively for the Broncos here on third right. down? Operating from the gun, Craig. Scott. I that guess not. Complete, nearly intercepted. I don't know how he, he got the ball in his, he had the ball in his hands. He had the ball in his hands. That was a dot. That was a dot. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second. I don't know how we got the ball, but we do. We, but we did. We did. We do. We did. Did do. And Carson gets stuck. He is going to lose yardage here. Second and goal from the six this time. Off the play fake. Craig sliding out. Of the Why play. would you? Time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third. And I don't, goal. I don't trust Carson. I, I don't. He, he, I don't. Get in there. Get it. Get. I'm going for it. I'm going for it, and it won't let me. And now it'll be fourth and goal. Yeah, the Seahawks. Yeah, I missed the field goal. Or they didn't go for the field goal, they tried to go for it. What the... What the fuck? Madden. 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 Uh, just run the ball. It's a jet sweep, but fuck it, I don't care. Just run the ball. A little jet sweep to start the drive. Nice move on the play, but he will be brought down shy of the 15. Madden. Oh, Madden. Hurry up with the patch so I can play with my so I can play with my full squad. Hurry up. Hurry the fuck up and fix that shit. As they are looking at a second and five situation. Rolling to his right, returning right back to Lockett, and he almost gets this to the thirty, taken down about a yard shy. It'll be a gain of sixteen for number sixteen. down Craig. pick oh dear. turnover but it's incomplete well fortunate to retain possession there and it's second down he'll try again with the arm here on second down left side here that's the tight end fan five yards now it's third and five and you know Carter Landry is on the sideline smiling after that one. Remember, the former tight end joined Manny Kahue's offensive staff this spring, and he has been a big advocate of getting the tight ends involved in the passing game. Yeah, we remember him. First down. Get to the first down. For a number of years, and while his playing days just ended, he jumps right into the coaching ranks. Oh, say can you see? Oh my god. Jesus fix it. Jesus fix it. Just run the ball. Jesus fix it. And they st I can see him get stuffed in the backfield. Oh my goodness. Yo. 
I got bird's eye view of the one game still not working. Carson ain't getting no stats this season. He ain't getting no yards. All he gonna get is touchdowns if we have the one yard line. And he gonna damn near he ain't gonna damn near not get him because I don't trust his ass. And it ain't his fault. It's mad fault. Dot. Oh, good move. Two minute drill. Because I, I can't throw it to the, I can't throw it to Carson because he was getting covered. Oh my God. Oh. Couldn't give it to Carson because he was being covered. Of course they drive down the field to score a fucking touchdown. It can't get any worse than this, right? They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Throw right side, taken in by Eskridge. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Looking to throw. Craig. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. And a big return will get him all the way down to the 35. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. Big. I, I, I don't know, dude. Off play action. Craig. He lets it fly for Lockett. And it's knocked away and incomplete. It looks like we'll have to... The Seahawk offense set to go to begin this third quarter. They look up at the I want to run the ball, but game, Charles, but look, I, I, I want to run the ball. Here. The football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive on that play sheet for any of those coordinators? They just don't have it, right? Wow, Carson got a first down. Wow. Wow. Oh, my God. Carson got a first down. Carson got another first down. Wow. They run again with Carson. Another truck. And able to break one. Where the fuck was this earlier? I will I just I wonder. I'm gonna wonder. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And the tackle gonna be made at the 38. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. And he's gonna take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Carson must have heard what I said. It took it became personal with him. To throw on second down, Craig. It's caught, lock it. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Back to throw, Craig. On the slant, it's Fan. Touchdown! Noah Fan, an 11 yard touchdown. And the Seahawks are able to come in as they score on the opening. Woohoo! And our defense and can't stop. The Shit. Defense can't stop a damn remote falling in slow motion. 
throwing to start the drive. Craig, quick hitter here, it's complete. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now a throw here, hauled in. Solid move, but he's corralled just beyond the 40. So we need three touchdowns in order to come back in six minutes. It's the Seahawks Doable, but we ain't going to do it. They do trail here to begin quarter number four. And the Broncos get there and take him down. Like I said, we ain't going to do it. They've only converted once in four tries. This is going to be third and I can't even hike the ball. They won't even let me hike the ball. Bam pick. All right. So far, I have not lost a single game on online. I just have the slightest feeling that that's going to change. Why am I being negative? Don't know. Don't care. I wonder who I'm going to be playing against. I bet it's the Bucks. It's either going to be the Bucks or the Ravens. Because everybody want to be on the mark, Dick. I'm going to be quiet and lock in, so... Yeah, y'all ain't going to hear me. Whoever watching this shit. I knew his ass was going to get the bucks. The NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the San Francisco 49ers. Robbie Gold's got it on the tee. He kicks it off, and here we go from Levi Stadium. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. To the air right away is Brady. He's got a man complete. A very solid gain of 27. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10, right at the 40. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Working from the gun, it's Brady. They're looking for Godwin, but it's intercepted. Picked by Emmanuel Mosley. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. Ben, I wonder if someone's down there checking on the head coach right now because he might be a little bit of shock after what just transpired. Instead of a lengthy opening drive to deal with, his guy stepped up and stole that drive away. Momentum on their side now. How will they attack on offense? 
Mitchell will get into the end zone for a 49 touchdown. Well, that's how you take advantage of an early turnover. A sudden change situation, meaning ball's turned over. How's both sides going to handle it? One side handled it way better. They went right out on the field and put the ball in the end zone. One play, that just added insult to injury. Yeah, that just tells you on the defensive side, they didn't come out ready to go, still reeling from the fact that the ball got turned over. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Now remember the last time out, they threw the interception. That led to the touchdown, so now time to regroup. It certainly is, and their goal right now as they go back out on the field, a calming drive, something that takes the ball, keeps it for a while, lets the defense relax a little bit, and lets the offense regain confidence in their game plan. On first and ten, here's Brady. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try to hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, get right to the challenge. Looking deep for Julio. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. So now then, the big play has him all the way in. So Madden just going to keep letting him throw stupid shit. Fournette, a first down carry. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. From the gun, it's Brady. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up. He's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at it. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Niners are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. But they're certainly not giving much help to their defense, are they? Because for the second time now, that D has had to run back out on the field early after an interception. And remember, on the last drive, the opposing side took it in for six after that interception. Here we go. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And just two series in here, Charles, but everything's gone to script so far. They got a touchdown on their first drive. Their defense holds, and now they've got a chance to take a two-score lead. And to co-sign with you, exactly the start they scripted up. And really, that kind of start, that can set the tone for the game for them. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer. And a first down. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. Here's Lance. Man open. That's Ray Ray McLeod. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. On play action, Lance. And down he goes, a bucket air sack. Levante David making his presence felt in the backfield. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. On second down, here's Mitchell. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Not an easy spot here. He'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. On third down, here's Mitchell. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. And it's taken in at the nine. 12 yards on the return that time. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. 
And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw, it's Brady. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. There he goes, right side. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. This time, the extra point up and good. And the lead now stands at 13. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this he's got a man complete. Shoves him aside. And he's going to get this down inside the 40 before he's finally ridden out of bounds. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. 46 yards. Fakes the give to Fournette. Now Brady. And this one too low. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. To throw once more on second and ten. Brady. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. I know we don't have a special scoreboard to show it, but the offense, they've surrendered more sacks than they have points thus far. This defense, they're winning in all phases of the game right now. Do it. They'll go for it. It's Brady. This is caught by Evans. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Mike Evans, 45 yards. And the Buccaneers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. And this kick is no good. Misses the PAT, a mistake there. And this remains a seven-point game. The Bucks ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. A fairly short kick from the 14. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's we'll see how this one continues. And Lance again here on second and ten. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. And the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. To throw, it's Lance. And this is going to be incomplete. I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown on their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. Here we go. 
Lance and company going on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Bucs are going to take over with excellent field position to boot. On first down, Brady. Quick throw, fighting Mike Evans. And in for the Buccaneers, touchdown. Mike Evans with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Buccaneers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point up and good by Sucka. And that will tie things up at 13. All square now at 13 all as he sends this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. But a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. For most people, the excitement of the kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. Samuel, fine work there on the touchdown run. And the 49ers have moved out in front. Gold with the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Suck up for the extra point. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. Fitting for what's been a tight ball game. We're all even at 20 now as the kick's away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. And Lance now to throw. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man when in coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. To throw on second and 10. Lance, the tight end Kettle has it on the left side. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. The Lance and Kittle in seeing for the 49 first. Throwing now is Lance. Tries to hit Jennings and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jamel Dean. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. You can easily see the logic. It's a tie game. They just wanted to press it a little bit right before the half, hoping to get one more score. Now, easy to second-guess the result, but now you have to think after that interception, just a field goal, and they're behind at the break. Yeah, I think at the half, the head... And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Pressure, they got him again. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. 
as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. So Brady and the Bucks need to work a little magic third and long after that last set. Now back to throw. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And into the end zone, a pick six from the third. Constantly talking about defenders having great vision and being able to see plays unfold and make their own plays, but you also have to have good feel as well because you can't see everything out there. See the play unfold, feel what's going on, and then get to the right spot and make your own play. And in this case, it turned out to be a highlight one. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. They'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. Airing this one out for Evans. And got his man complete. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Here we go. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner, yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Check, cut. Now Lance. Open man is how you complete. He's going to have the four yards first down as they're able to get the four down conversion. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and ten at the 41. And he is going to lose yardage here. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Up the middle, here's Mitchell. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense. And, and trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamel Dean. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for a Buccaneer TD. So after the INT, it's Brady. That's caught. 
And he will find the end zone here. And the lead moves up to seven. And there's a quick momentum swing. INT return for a pick six. And then the two-point conversion good. And even if you're keeping your wits about you, you're thinking to yourself, okay, extra point block team going into the game now. All of a sudden you're hearing defense. Everyone's scrambling for their helmets and throwing down their cups of water. That's a great position for them to be in trying to score against that team. A little bit disjointed. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drop. Now Lance throws the interception, his third. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door. And, and my goodness, another interception. Picked by Emmanuel Mosley. And now off to the races, down the right side. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Gold with the extra point, and that will tie our game here in the third. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. Throwing now is Brady. And complete right side to tight end Rudolph. And he is going to have a box first down and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. Throwing on first down is Brady. And he's going to have the hook up to Gage. His second catch, this one not quite as dynamic as his first, and it's second down. Here's Brady. And Rudolph has it left side. And they're going to get this up to midfield. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Fournette running right. Oh, he's got a little daylight, and he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A big pickup there, 18 yards and a Buccaneer first. But they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game. That's allowed them to move the ball on offense. But I've got to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides. But to see the ball in the running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. Delivering a pass here to Evans on the out route. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Fournette diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. And Charles, he's able to dive in there in a short yardage situation. Just find a place to get to the end zone. Didn't matter where it was, but once he did, used his nose for the end zone and dove in. Extra point put through by Suckup, and they will take a seven-point lead. The Bucks ready for the kickoff, and here we go. It's in the air. A fairly short kick from the 14, and they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. 
He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and stayed on the way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. Now a man open down the middle of the field. They find some open field here. On the move past the 40. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Well, if you're a fan of offensive football, this game is for you because this one's been much more like a tennis match than a football game. Back and forth, back and forth. And there's another example right there of another big play in the passing game. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now a play fake, Lance. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for nine. From the 24, Lance. The same target, same result. It's Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. George Kittle with a touchdown grab for Trey Lance. And the Niners are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Javon Kinlaw coming right up the gut. Gets in there for a loss of nine. To try again after the sack. Brady. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked by Emmanuel Mosley. To the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. In a tie game fourth quarter, that's about as big of a defensive play as you can possibly make. And it didn't happen by accident. That was, that was scouting right there. They've seen things that have happened before. They knew in certain situations the type of plays they like to run. Read it and were able to go after the football, get it, and take it into the end zone for a touchdown for themselves. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And can they regroup? That's the question. The pick six hurt no doubt. But this and now here's another interception. And they'll be at the 18-yard line. Great field position here in the red zone. And they'll take possession. It was only a matter of time. Only a matter of time. Your boy Mike can't shave you all the time. See, I hate Buccaneers players because they know Mike is one of the tallest wide receivers in the game. And they take advantage of that. You see the stupid passes he was getting? Come on now. I'm going to do what my, bo uh, what my friend, brother be doing with Shaquille Leonard because Shaquille Leonard is a uh, cheat code at this point he's a cheat code overrated but 
Madden done blessed him with the Almighty. So, yeah, I might as well go ahead and use him. Yo, yo, can you try to turn your mic off? That shit jai, jai a little. Uh uh. Can you turn that off for me? It sound like a nigga playing the game in a terminal. What the hell? Yo, can you turn that off for me, bro? Can you turn your mic off? It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are inside of the very no. spacious Lucas Oil Just go ignore me. Okay. Up, got what can only be described as a mirror image matchup between the Indianapolis Colts and themselves. The ball on the tee, we're set for football, and we are underway here on EA Sports. And no run back on the opening kickoff, it'll come out to the 25. Taylor to start the drive. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That's a gain of 13 and a very solid opening play for this offense. And that's how you get started and open up the game. Really well blocked play. Picked up a nice chunk of yardage. If you're the offensive line, that's exactly what you've talked about all week long in your meetings. Establish a line of scrimmage and take control. And they gave their running back plenty of room to rumble. to Taylor on first down. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 down at the 33. Naeem Hines, his first carry. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Ryan. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And that's a heck of a moment for your first sack of the game because if this long drive ends without a touchdown because of that sack, we're going to look back and say that might be one of the biggest plays of this contest. Got a man. It's complete to Jelani Woods. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 16. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Up the middle, here's Taylor. 
Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Second down, another run with Taylor. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, now Ryan. And that is incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield, then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. So Ryan heads to the sideline, and out now is Rodrigo Blankenship for the Indianapolis field goal try. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Blankenship's kick is good. And the Colts hit the scoreboard first. It's 3-0. And all in all, a pretty decent opening drive, Charles. Pretty balanced. They had the passing game going and the rushing attack, too. I would think they have to be happy with that start because you get your ground game going, which means your offensive line and your runners are pretty happy. And then you get your aerial attack going as well. So your quarterback and receivers have smiles on their faces. Now both up to speed, awaiting their next possessions for this game. They can't wait to get started again. It is fielded right at the goal line. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Colts getting set here first and 10 at the 31 yard line. To throw is Ryan. Being chased out and he can't find anywhere to go with it and he goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. So now twenty yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. They run with Hines. I was pretty surprised there when they lined up to run it on second and long, but it worked out for them. It certainly did, and that requires some confidence, some fortitude, and a little bit of hope, doesn't it? You hope you catch the defense just right and break off a big run to help yourself out on the next down. This one completes Alec Pierce. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 23 yards on the play. That time on the run pass option when he decided to throw it. A quick little drop off. He went downfield a bit. Reminiscent of a triple option quarterback in college because he faked it inside and instead of immediately throwing it out to the perimeter, stepped back in the pocket to find a target downfield. He's brought down there by Kenny Moore. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. 
call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And he's going to get this inside the 30. First target, first catch, and a first down. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. On first and ten, it's Ryan. Slant pass hauled in by Campbell. And down inside the 15 he goes. It's a gain of 14 down to the 14. Second quarter, two minutes remain. 3-0 our score. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Here's Ryan. He'll try and set up the screen to Hines. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively. Or could have gone. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Colts have taken the lead. Extra point by Blankenship is off and good. And that makes it a 7 3 lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This take it in at the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Second and nine, Ryan. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Kenny Moore. And he will bring it back. An interception return for the Colts TD. Rodrigo Blankenship on for the PAT. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. following that pick six and now the kick is away taken at the goal line and he'll take it a yard or so past the 20 called it the 21 at the line and set to go. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? On 
third down. Here's Taylor. And he's not going to get anywhere close to the marker as he'll stop it well short of the yellow line. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Undefeated. Who's undefeated? I'm undefeated. Who's undefeated? <laughs> I'm undefeated. <laughs> Woo! Come on now. Like, they not fucking with me. They not. They not fucking with me. They not fucking with me. I like I like the Colts. Hold on. I like the Colts. I see why my boy uh brother be using them. I like the Colts. I also like the Chargers. Oh, he got my team. Ah, he got my team. Ah, he got my team. Ooh, this is going to be good. Ooh, this is going to be good. The NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Los Angeles Chargers and the San Francisco 49ers. It's north versus south in the state of California. We're underway between the Niners and Chargers. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Here's Mitchell now to kick off the drive. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. Meanwhile, Lance's throw is caught by Gray. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Here's Lance. He'll, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Credit the sack to Joey Bosa. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. Here comes Carter. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. 
Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their own 27. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. We'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forcing the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. Five yards. Now it's third and five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. He'll drop this one off to Edwin. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, able to get the completion, but unfortunately not able to get the third down conversion there on that play. And I like how the defense approached that one. They knew where the first down marker was, and they decide whatever you want to have, you can. You're just not going to get the first down. Excellent tackling right there. Here we go on fourth. Herbert, he's going to have his running back. It's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Not often to fourth down conversions results in 23 yards, but that's the case here. First down. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. And the 49ers are going to get it back here just past the 35. And that was one I kind of saw coming, Charge. had a free safety just hanging back there over the middle, waiting, and he saw that ball go in the air, and he jumped on it. And I don't know why the quarterback didn't see that. That was just your standard cover three, which means a free safety in the middle of the field, the two corners, and they divide the field in thirds. But when you have a free safety... And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. It's Khalil Mack that time, shooting in there to get him to the ground. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Yeah, and that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Shotgun now for Lance. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now on to punt. On the return, Carter. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And they will take over first and 10. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he's got a Austin Eckler, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Chargers are on the board first here this afternoon. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. 
They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. Extra point good by Hopkins. Here's Hopkins now out to kick it away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. The Niners take over his first down at their own 14 yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and ten. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets his foot out shy of the 30 to the 29. On first down, they go back to Mitchell. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Throwing now is Lance. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Bryce Callahan. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively, getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated... And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. That's Aziz Al-Shair getting through for the sack that time. And the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. Up the middle with Eckler. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. 98 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. I don't think anyone thought we'd see a run facing second in that long and that element of surprise. I think he'll make that play so successful. Nice effort on that carry. And it took what seemed like second and impossible. Now has him within throwing range of a first down. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Allen's first catch. Good for a first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Once you get into the red zone, space is at a premium for receivers to try and operate and shake themselves free. That one's incomplete. On second down, Eckler. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. Here's Herbert. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting... Touchdown, Chargers! Keenan Allen with a touchdown reception from Justin Herbert. And the Chargers go up by two touchdowns. Hopkins with the extra point. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. 
And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left. More. There he goes right side. He's at the 30. And he's going to be shoved out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 62 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. First down, here's Mitchell. And this carry, despite the good move, will be stopped short of the 10. Give him maybe a yard, quite the opposite from the previous big gainer. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Once again, it's Mitchell. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. But well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. Left side, that's caught by Mitchell. Touchdown! Elijah Mitchell from 10 yards out. And the 49 get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Very short kick, take it right at the 20. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And with a 14-7 lead, they might just be happy to take this thing on into the tunnel. This is swung out to Eckler. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Going deep here for Allen. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. And yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. And that's into the hands of Eckler. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Both these teams, no doubt, making their final halftime adjustments as we speak. And for the call of the second half, we get it back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as these guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards a lot of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Give him 12 yards there. The Chargers have a first down. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. They'll find Everett there complete. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. 
As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 111 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Once more, here's Heckler. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game. And while they slowed him down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. And some room to work. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers are able to strike for six. Extra point good by Hopkins. And it's now 21-7. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, manageable spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. On second down, here's Mitchell. And he'll manage only a couple here up to the 25. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going to the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Mitchell. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A big play that time on the catch and run. And it's going to yield a new set of downs. On first and 10, here's Lance. This will be caught at Samuel. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. On first down, Lance. It's caught. Mitchell. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Again, they'll throw it with Lance. That's going to be caught. Touchdown, 49ers. Jones Kittle with a touchdown grab for Trey Lance. And the Niners are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Gold with the extra point. And they're back with it a touchdown at 21 14. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And he can't field it cleanly. It's loose. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Charger drive about to get going. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and ten. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and eight. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. They'll roll him out right. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. 
picked by Emmanuel Mosley. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Well, he exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending a play is sometimes your receivers find their way open, but oftentimes you end up closing down part of the field and bringing those defenders to the ball. And that one was picked off. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now Lance. A quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. Well, no surprise there. He was looking for one of his favorite targets again as soon as he left the pocket. But the coverage was good downfield. They got right to the receiver and helped prevent that completion. This is caught. Touchdown. Trey Lance finding Debo Samuel. And the 49ers are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. A short kick taken at the 18. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Charger drive about to get going. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. So the completion gets him just a yard. And that's going to bring up second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. It's Eric Armstead fighting his way through that time to record the sack. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. The defense did their job. Fourth quarter, big stand. No doubt about it, because the offense has been yelling at him from the sideline. Just do us a favor. Get us the ball back. Give us one more chance to take it downfield. The defense just did them a solid, it appears. And when they get the ball back, they can kind of play free tie game. They're not behind. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 16 yards right off the bat. The first down. But when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. On the counter, Mitchell. And he is going to lose yardage here. Give all that credit defensively to Khalil Mack. A great stop in the backfield. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. On second and 12, Lance. And he will find his man, Samuel. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 33. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So they come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the gun, a give to Mitchell. And not much running room. Down to the 32. It was Sebastian Joseph who got him down defensively. Right back to Mitchell on second down. 
The Chargers are going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. They'd love to get a little closer if they need to kick the field goal on fourth down. From this spot, it's 46 yards. Screenplay setting it up for Mitchell. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And the 39-year-old veteran puts it right through. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there, gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. The Charger drive about to get going. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. I literally called it earlier. I was going to take an L at some point.
one of my boys is online. But his shit not showing. Okay. Nigga keep saying bet, but I don't got no damn invite, man. Well, until I get an invite. Oh, hold on. Let me do this real quick. Because I'm not, I ain't playing for the Seahawks no more. We got to just cut the cut that out. We got to cut that out. Where that easy button at? That was easy. Chief Sauce. Well, it's actually good news for both of us. Because as of today, I'm the agent of Nike's newest athlete. And that's me. Good guess. Oh, man. I'm revving a swoosh, baby. That's what's up. Yes, you are. What about what Adidas or Jordan or something? Get a deal done. Man, I've been waiting for this day to come. I know you have, man. Keep an eye out for something from Nike. I'm sure they'll be sending you some love. I'll be looking out for it. Thanks, Sosa. Of course. Why was I just standing in the middle of my house like that, though? But, yes. Nike, give me the big bucks, the big money. Ah, shit. Score a touchdown on this side. Oh, that's easy. Now I could have sworn I got a little bit closer than that. Hey. He 
ain't had to spear me like that. Get in there. Yo. Show is big dog. Show is. Not, not day to day. <sighs> uh, not much. Shit, I've been straight working, going to the gym, working, going to the gym, working, going to the gym. Nothing to it. Guys, to my LA fitness joint, let people come in for free. Like, I could bring in one person. West Bubba, fuck yeah, I know. I'm West Bubba, fuck away from everybody for real, for real. Could have been on Millicent, but you know, COVID. Nigga, fuck that, fuck that monkey pox shit. Fuck that monkey pox shit. Bro, monkey pox has been around since the 1930s and 1940s. And there's only two ways to get it. One, not washing your ass. Basically, don't touch your face if you ain't wash your hands. Just wash your hands, wash in between your nails, and wash your ass. That's all you literally need to do. Two, same-sex intercourse. That's literally how you get monkey pox. Oh you oh you want the GT oh you on the PS4 version. Oh shit. I only got the PS5. No, like there's a PS5 version of GTA 5 now. Oh you probably got to switch to switch it to the other side then cuz the joint almost had me Going to GTA four, um, GTA five on the PS four 